Hi, welcome back to Ingvid. Today I'm going to be teaching an absolute ton of business idioms. Now, this is not just appropriate for people uh, professionally working in cities. This is stuff that um, school kids would benefit from being able to use. And it's also uh, beneficial for native speakers of English as well, because I guarantee that not all of us uses these phrases regularly. And so we can all benefit from trying to improve our vocab. Um, so you ready? Let's go. Um, at a premium. So a premium price is a top, top price. It's like the most expensive. Um, so if we're talking about tickets being available for some fantastic sports or concert, um, and if I said the tickets are at a premium, maybe they're sort of running out, there's not very many left, and so they're at a premium. Um, the demand has pushed up the price. A back of the envelope calculation. Let's just practice saying that. Back of the envelope calculation. A back of the envelope calculation is well, think about it. Someone's very quickly writing down some figures. Um, how much money's coming in? How much money's coming out? Okay, so we'll charge this amount. So it's a quick calculation, yep. Um, without the benefit of sitting down with project teams. It's just a quick one. To keep, oh, I've put the apostrophe and the S in the wrong place. To keep ones, I on the prize. So the apostrophe S, this is possessive use of the apostrophe. The I belongs to one, meaning us generally. To keep one's eye on the prize means to keep focused on your target, whatever that is. Okay, for me right now, it's making videos for you guys. Um, doesn't happen very often. It happens about every sort of three years. So uh, if I get comments like, Benjamin, you look different, that's because I haven't been standing in a bucket of ice for three years. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, strategy. So, okay, let's get going. Climb the corporate ladder, okay? Climb the corporate ladder. Corporate is to do with the business. It actually, the root of the word, yeah, that's a Latin word that means body. So um, an organization, a business, it's like a body. It's got lots of different parts and they're all part of a whole. So if you climb the corporate ladder, you're going from um, the most basic position all the way up to the CEO, climbing the ladder, okay? to cash in on. So cash is an informal word that means uh, money. If you cash in on something, then you are profiting from it. Yeah, um, to cash in on an opportunity, to, to get all the available reward. To drum up business means to be proactive, to go out there and find some sales leads um, to promote yourself, yeah, to make it happen proactively from what you do, to drum up business, to fast track a project. So maybe we've got um, like five or six different projects that we're thinking about doing and we're thinking, okay, which one is going to work best? Ah, this one here. Let's let's get everything going. Let's concentrate on this and let's make it happen really fast. We're going to fast track it. So um, all hands on deck. You'll learn that one in a later video I do about sailing idioms. All hands on deck. Let's all help um, this particular project. To turn it around. Um, so if I'm driving the car and I realize I'm going in the wrong direction, um, if it's safe to do so, I'll do a turn in the road maneuver. Yeah, a U-turn. Actually, 
Well, if I'm in the UK, it's more likely to be all that way. Okay, so to turn something around um, hasn't been going very well. So I do something to change it and to start making it go well. Okay. To generate lots of buzz, yeah, like a bumblebee, yeah. Um, generate means to create. Think of like a huge um, power generator, yeah. It makes the electricity. To, to make lots of buzz. Buzz is an onomatopoeic word, yeah. It's a sound word. So, um, if you're if you're making lots of buzz, you're making lots of noise, you're creating lots of interest in your business, okay? Generate lots of buzz. Everyone wants to know about what you are doing. Rally the troops, okay? Means get them all here, get everyone going, working on it. Troops is a word that means soldier. Um, so we're not, we're not calling everyone soldiers, but it, it, the expression just means get everyone here. Let's get everyone going. Yeah, we need all to be working together. Um, is there one that it's similar to? Maybe later. Hard sell. So that's where I'm quite forceful. I'm quite hard in the way I sell something. I want you to subscribe to my channel right now. I want you to make sure that the notification bell is on so whenever I create a new video and it's uploaded, you get it straight away. Yeah, subscribe to Benjamin right now. Yeah, that was a hard sell. I'm not normally like that. Um, okay, moving on. To plug something. What is a plug? A plug is... Um, what you put in a bath to keep the water from going out. Uh, my plug's just broken, so it's not a very good plug. Um, anyway, to plug something means to, um, to, to talk about it, to promote it. So um, if my friend Daniel had a concert and he was plugging it, it means he would be telling everyone about his concert. Yeah. Okay, so, and he would be creating lots of buzz around it. Maybe he'd be rallying the troops, getting all of his other friends involved. Um, he'd be trying to drum up an audience. Um, and maybe he would make some back of the envelope calculations about how much he could afford to pay his musicians. Okay through the roof. Yep, through. If something goes through the roof, so think, think of like a, a chart or a graph. It goes up, it goes down. The roof is up here. So if it goes through the roof, then it increases dramatically. Yeah, the roof is like the top of the house. To pull the plug. Uh, so we've got our bath. We pull the plug out or the water leaves the bath. Um, so if I pull the plug on a project, then I, I kind of stop it. Yeah. Think of the project as being the bath or the water has gone out of the bath. To jump the gun. Um, now, if I think, think of ath athletics here. Yeah. Um, so we've got all our 100 meter sprinters lining up to race. They go down on your marks, get set. But someone jumps the gun, goes before they should do. Um, so how would we apply this to a business context? Um, maybe if you, yeah, if you, if you do something before you're meant to to face the music. So if we've done something that we're not meant to, then it might mean that we have to go and have a difficult conversation with a manager in which we will have to face the music. Here's my face. The music is the noise coming from the big scary boss. 
Benjamin, what have you done? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I jumped the gun. I did something too, too early. And so to face the music, it means like to, to face up to the consequences, to reality. Well, here we are. Reality check. The boss might say, let me give you a reality check, Benjamin. Your mistake has done da 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 da. Um, so a reality check means a kind of like an update. Um, yeah, let me show you what's really going on here. So I'm in trouble with the boss and he tells me I'm going to have to jump through hoops. Jump to jump through hoops means to do what your employer or someone other some other person with authority wants you to do just to make them happy. And maybe you think these jobs and these tasks are really silly, but it's just something you have to do. Um, there's no choice to pass the buck. Pass the buck means, I don't know, I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, he can do that one or she can do that. I'm I don't want to do it. Okay. Um, so these are We've looked at lots of different things, different sort of strategies, different things you can do around the world of work. And now we have a couple to do with your attitude. Um, so are you the type of person to dot your I's and cross your T's? This means um, attention to detail. So if the boss says, Benjamin, you really need to start crossing, uh, dotting your I's and crossing your T's means, yeah, okay, everything needs to be done in a certain particular way. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, so ventured here means tried, nothing tried. If, I, if you don't try, you'll never know, yeah? So if you don't try something, then you can't get anything from it. So uh, it's kind of a phrase to show, well, give it a go and you never know. Okay, I've got even more for you. I hope you've been listening and that you're going to remember some of these. Thanks for watching. Let's get some more on the board. Okay, just four more because there's been a lot of content to um, digest in this lesson. A blockbuster. Now that typically comes from uh, the movies, the films. Um, if something is a blockbuster, then it's a huge success. Um, not used that often. Um, mum's the word. If you want someone to be um, secretive and not share some information, then you might just go, mum's the word. Yeah, it means don't tell everyone. And then that person might say, okay, sure, sure, sure. Mum's the word. Mum's the word. It just means it's a secret. Okay. Um, but you wouldn't say that in like a big group context. You just say that uh, to someone individually. To work down to the wire. Now this phrase comes from uh, horse racing, where the horses are going to the finishing line. And if you want to get more idioms, I've got a lesson on uh, like, um, well, gambling and cards. So it's to do with that. Um, to work down to the wire means to go to the last minute. So the deadline is at 8 a.m. You're working on it at 7.58 and you send it at 7.59. To iron out the kinks. Um, so iron is what you use to, you know, make your shirt sort of um, uncreased. Kinks are kind of like the small little mistakes. So if you iron out the kinks, then you're just making sure everything is absolutely perfect. So what I think you should do now is if you see the little button that shows how many minutes into the lesson you are, I think you should put it back so that you've got the board with all the vocab in and write down some of it. Yep. And just make sure that you can remember what all of this stuff means before you then go and do the quiz. And if you're getting less than eight out of 10, watch it again. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you do want any more help from me individually, then my website, honeyourenglish.com will point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.